In this video, I will show you how to create a zoom in animation and also how to make it look amazing. Let's get right into it. First off, let's add the transform effect so we can add motion blur and make it look more realistic. Then, go to where you want the zoom in to start. I will choose this random spot because, why not? After that, turn on keyframes with this stopwatch button. Move forward a bit to where you want the zoom in to stop. Adjust the position and scale on the second keyframe to match your needs. By the way this is where your zoom will end. Now if you play it back, it will automatically be animated to that position and scale but it won't look that good. I'll tell you how to fix that in a moment, but first, if you want to make it shorter or longer, you can just move the keyframes closer or farther from each other, closer will make the animation shorter and farther will make it longer. Now. To make it look better, select the last two keyframes, right click, and in Temporal Interpolation select Ease In. Then select the first two keyframes and in an Temporal Interpolation select Ease Out. To remember, just do the opposite of what you think it should be. Now the animation is much better looking. To make it look more realistic uncheck, use Composition's shutter speed, and then change the shutter angle to something like 300, more or less according to your needs. This will add motion blur to the animation which will make it look more realistic. This is the reason why we used the transform effect. The faster the animation is, the more motion blur it will have. You can also increase the motion blur by increasing the shutter angle. You can use this way on literally any video, image, and even text. This video is just getting too long. I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, 